We had a real oral tradition in our house. I knew the word griot when I was a little boy. A griot was a person in Africa who was charged with keeping the stories of the village. Everyone would tell a griot the stories and they would remember them all so that they could tell future generations. And when they got old, they'd tell them to someone else. And they say in Africa, when a griot dies, it's like a library was burnt down. And my mother used to tell me, before I ever thought about doing comedy, she said, you should be a griot. And she'd fill me with every story of black life. You know, she's educated in African-American studies. And she would let me understand the context that I was being raised in. That I'm being raised in a hostile environment that I have to tame. By the time I was 14 years old, I was in nightclubs, mastering an adult world. It was terrifying. The crack epidemic was going on, and my mother would hear gunshots outside and be scared to death. Maybe it's my son. But early in my career, if you remember, Mom, you used to sit in the club with me. She'd do a full day of work. You'd be back there falling asleep, just waiting for me to go on. She would watch my show every night. Do you know how long that car ride is home? <laughs> how many of you have ever heard your mother say, jokes were a little too much tonight, son? I was a soft kid. I was sensitive, I'd cry easy, and I would be scared to fist fight. And my mother used to tell me this thing, I don't even know if you remember, but you said this to me more than once. You said, son, sometimes you have to be a lion so you can be the lamb you really are. I talk this shit like a lion. I'm not afraid of any of you when it comes word to word. I will gab with the best of them just so I can chill and be me.